Are you about moving to Naperville, Illinois? And you're wondering what the downtown looks like? This video's for you. I'm Amy Pearson, I'm a local realtor. I grew up in Naperville, Illinois. I'm raising my daughter here with my husband. And I make weekly videos on my channel on community information, real estate, and driving tours. If you like my video, hit the subscribe button. If you're thinking about moving to Naperville, feel free to reach out. Info is below. I'd love to help you out. I've been helping people that have reached me out for my YouTube channel, and I've been helping find a home in Naperville. All right, let's get started on the driving tour. I did this video two years ago, and I've noticed there's been a lot of updates in downtown Naperville. There'll be a lot of new businesses and restaurants. So I'm going to give you a driving tour of what's happening, what's fun in Naperville. Come on. All right, here we are driving downtown Naperville. On the right is a new sign that says downtown Naperville. It sort of welcomes you to downtown Naperville. We just drove underneath the railroad tracks. That is the BNSF, Burlington Northern Santa Fe Metro train line. On the right is the DuPage Children's Museum. And we're just driving along, getting closer. This is basically the downtown Naperville, which consists of a lot of historic homes and businesses and then all of the downtown area is very clustered together. So it's coming up on the right. Uh, I've got a pizza place I want to point out, uh, Fiani, and they've got Detroit style pizza, very large outdoor seating area. On the right, uh, there is the post office. And then on the left is a new restaurant, Gia Mia. It's located in the old um, Neighborville Library. There's a lot of great stuff. Oh, it's right there is um, where the restaurant is. There's Athleta, Mod Pizza, Ulta, a lot of different retail and restaurants, um, wide variety of foods. Um, there's a new coffee shop on the left right there. There's Tapville, um, Heisman's Bar, quite a few bars along here and restaurants. A little construction. And on the right, you can kind of see the outdoor patio. This is Bev's. It's um, newer than for my last video. That's an update. It is a temporary restaurant. Food's really good. Check that place out. There's a few bars on the left. Empire Bar and Restaurant has a rooftop eating area. Fun place to check out on a nice weather day. Sullivan's is on the right. This is the Naval River Walk straight ahead. I'm turning left onto Main Street and then right onto Water Street. So this is Water Street. On the left is uh, Sparrow Coffee. There is a, a wine bar restaurant on the right. And then there is a hotel in downtown Naval called Hotel Indigo, which is located right here with the walk across bridge. And straight ahead is the City Hall. The American flag that is the Naperville City Hall building. And I'm just looping around. <laughs> um, there's a hot yoga on the right in downtown Naperville. I'm back to Main Street. And then I will be crossing back over the river. It's the DuPage River. You might be able to see some of the outdoor rooftop, the rooftop of Empire on the right. Yeah, you can kind of see it. And then going back down, we've got Sullivan's restaurant on the right, um, Dean's Clothing on the on the right. It's been there a long time. Okay, some newer places. Um, Sweet Green on the left. It's a great salad place. Check it out. Jenny's Ice Cream is newer. On the left, Starbucks Reserve is gone. It's a, a just a normal Starbucks, but it's a really cool Starbucks. So check it out. Um, I'm gonna turn left. There is a great pet shop. That Blue Onion is a really great pet shop. Uh, there is Apple Store along here, Anderson's Bookstore, Sephora. On the right, this is uh, Leonardo's Pizza, uh, Deep Dish Pizza, and it's built in an old firehouse. Uh, on the left was, is the Nichols Library, the Naperville uh, downtown location. There are three library locations. And turn right. Then you'll see one of the parking lots. You can kind of see on the right, that's a free parking lot. So there's several free parking lots in downtown Naperville, which is nice. You don't have to pay for parking. So I'm gonna turn right again. There's a, quite a few uh, retail places along here. There's J. Jill, Antler Loft, um, Loft, um, uh, Hugh's Frog Bar, Q Barbecue Restaurant on the right. Great casual barbecue place, Lululemon. There's more of the parking on the right that is free. And 
sorry about the, the light's a little bright here, but I want to show you there's a large parking deck on the left. It can get filled on weekends, but there is a number counter to show me how many uh, parking spots are available. We just went by athletic clothing and then straight ahead, not sure, yeah, the sun's not really able to show you that new restaurant, Giamia. And then I looped around again. I want to show you one of my uh, favorite burger places. Feel a loop around again. <laughs> um, on the right is JoJo's Shake Shack. That is a newer place. And just to the left is Jackson's um, Jackson Pub. Brewer, uh, Jackson Pub. Sorry about that. Um, great burgers. You gotta check it out. I love their burgers. And then we're just back again. I keep looping around to show you the different places. There's uh, there's more retail along here. Uh, there's Ever Eve is located along here. There's um, Pure Bar workout place and a hair salon at the end. So very walkable, downtown Naperville. Wanted to give you a little um, little check out of what it looks like in downtown Naperville. As you can see, here's the residential homes just on the edge of it. And that's downtown Naperville. Let's give you a little shot of some updates of downtown Naperville recently. Hope you enjoyed my driving tour of downtown Naperville. As you can see, there's a lot going on. It's all in a small area, very walkable, and a lot of restaurants, retail. It's a fun place to check out. If you haven't been to Naperville and you're thinking about moving here, feel free to reach out. Info is below. I'd love to help you out.